good morning students so today we will deal about uh, the different types of housing systems which we will use in poultry let's see one by one and before seeing one by one let's to know for what purpose we are we needed shelter or housing for a poultry so let's go for an introduction first point for what purpose we are making poultry for a housing system for a poultry so first we will see the genetic improvement for giving poultry a housing a environment which it can stay so first is genetic improvement you can we can make next one is the nutritional improvement and next other than that is environment we can protect the poultry by providing housing for the inclement weather conditions so this is the importance of poultry housing let's see what is the importance of poultry housing poultry housing will provide comfort and protection that is comfort from inclement weather conditions either it is cold season chilled conditions or to hot weather conditions that will be and it will provide a shelter also for and protection from pests then uh, predators and other uh, materials which will harm them will be provided by providing a housing for a poultry the next one is the scientific management in a controlled manner we can uh, see that if we will provide housing then we can make them as a scientific management can be made easily and this housing will also make easy convenient and economic operations reduces the total cost of productions maximize flock performance then ensuring better health and welfare proper microclimatic conditions we can maintain by providing a different type of housing systems then increase stocking density and uh, space requirement for the poultry we can increase or decrease by providing the housing facilities of different housing systems for a poultry then optimum and uniform growth rate we can maintain a optimum growth rate also so there are different types of poultry housing let's see one by one further mainly it is classified into free range or extensive system of housing then semi intensive type of housing then intensive type of housing this intensive type of housing is further classified into slat cum litter type of housing slatted floor housing deep litter housing and cage system and cage system is further classified into individual cage system battery or vertical cage system then stair step or california cage system so let's see one by one first one is the free range system it is the oldest system in this system we are having adequate land is available rearing of poultry by letting them loose on the ground which is called as a range or field a range should be provide shelter greens feed water and shade and in this system foraging is the major activity of the birds for feeding and this uh, system free range system temporary in this free range system we will provide temporary roofing system also just for a shelter protection uh, protection from uh, either rain or uh, sunlights then stocking density in this in this free range system we can make the stocking density of uh, about 300 to 400 birds per hectare at per, uh, now at present this system is totally outdated uh, we, uh, due to the more availability of land next system is the semi intensive system it is uh, mainly um, applied by the small scale producers in this uh, in this system we will pro provide a, a shelter also and a run also for a poultry main foraging activity is not that much main we will provide feed inside the pen itself in this uh, system this stocking density will be 4 to 5 per square meter per square meter of birds we can use 4 to 5 next is the folding unit system in this system uh, house and run we are making a combined part which of is covered with the chicken wire mess and the remainder with be solid walls and in this a unit of 6 meters by 1.5 meter for 6 to 18 birds can be utilized and floor space requirement is 2 square meter per birds and this folding units can be moved each day over an area of grassland 
then similar to deep litter system it is similar to deep litter system but a considerable amount of a litter of for a yard and a fresh green for food for the birds is required more it is more expensive and uh, less durable next one is the deep litter system poultry birds are kept in large pens on floors by using a litter material either it will be wood shavings or straw or uh, this straw dust then birds density will be 5 to 7 birds per meter square area will be provided easy access of feed water egg collection provides good protections and disadvantage is requires the quality litter and litter and bowl diseases will be more next one is the uh, slotted or wire floor system in this system uh, small houses with a slatted or wire mess floors will be utilized then slatted wooden piece of 2.5 to 5 cm uh, width can be placed a part around 2.5 cm apart running through the length of house uh, slats placed 3 feet above the ground floor so the all the droppings can be accumulate and can be collected later and then bird density can be 6 to 8 per square meter feeding watering and egg collection will be in handled from outside the house next is the combination of slatted floor and deep litter system in this uh, system 60% uh, area will be slatted area and 40% area will be the deep litter type and this area this slatted area here what we are seeing is the slatted area and litter area is there this uh, for this only 40 40 40% of the deep litter area and uh, 60% will be the slatted area and this area is raised above the concrete floor a 0.5 meter or more than accumulate the manure below the slatted area and this water and feeders are placed on the slatted area <coughs> burst density we can use here up to 5 to 7 square meter next from averis averis we are it is a multi tiered buildings and it is free, free of uh, cage housing in this we are using a several level of uh, housing spaces are we are using vertical spaces allow birds to jump to different levels high density of birds up to 25 birds we can rear in this type of system next one is the cage system this cage system will uh, allow rearing of poultry on raised wire netting floors small compartments called cages initially introduce of individual cages and uh, pedigree recording and culling of poor la layers at present 75% of the commercial layer in this world are kept in cages then it is suitable for high high density of birds when spaces limitations we can utilize this type of systems feeders and waterers are attached to cages from outside except nipple waterers for which pipelines is installed through or above cages then auto operated feeding trolleys and egg collection belt can be used the droppings are either collected in tray underneath the cages acha droppings are collected Uh, in the cages under underneath the cages then recommended floor space is for is a 0 to 8 weeks 0.3 square feet area will be required and for growers that is 9 to 16 weeks 0.5 square feet area and layers above 17 weeks is 0.6 square feet area is required in case of cage system and this is the structure of the cage which is having a slope of 1.5 inch per running area of 12 inches and in this feed belt egg belt and manure belt will be there with a wire floor types of cages are there there are four types of cages are there based on the de bird density they are single or individual cages then multiple bird cages colony cages based on arrangement of cages they are battery cages that is vertical cages stair step cages these are of two types m type of l type cages then based on type of birds rears it is brooder or stick eggs grower cages layer cages breeder cages and based on the number of rows single deck double deck triple deck and four deck these are the figures of different type of cages that is individual cages then flat deck cages that single tier cages is there and this colony cages and battery cages that vertical battery cages are there then uh, next is the california housing system this type of housing provides sufficient uh, ventilation and waste management in tropical countries the height of the shed is raised up to 7 to 8 feet from ground level using concrete pillars and the distance between two pillars is 10 feet two feet wide concrete platforms are made over the pillars for three uh, m type cages are arranged four platforms are needed the inter, uh, inter platform distance is 5 to 8 feet 
and the total height of the house is 20 to 25 feet and the width of is 30 to 35 feet and this is the design of the California cage system which is 8 to 9 feet is showing the above area below that 7 to 8 feet is the area is there and the distance between the uh, two cage, uh, two different type of uh, cages for keeping system is 10 to 15 feet intervals will be there and now this is the modern modern housing system in recent years most uh, most poultry operation intensive type houses uh, with environmental controls of the, in which inside conditions are maintained the nearest to the bus optimum requirements that is the temperature is 24 degrees celsius then relative humidity will be 50 to 60 percent a closed building with no windows longitudinally preferable east to west with big exhaust fans on west side while evaporative coolings on the east side along with automatic feeding and drinking system is inside fully system control will be there with no manual controls feeding watering system manual collection system air collection system all are mechanized now, then environmental control housing helps to achieve better feed conversion ratio improving production uh, care of birds control diseases and meet other safe breeding conditions and we will get one extra batch in per cycle this is the pictures of environmental control housings there's the exhaust fans are arranged and all systems is controlled automatically thank you students